Hello everyone, after lunch break, thank you for a very nice conversation about web application security. It's uh, very inspiring when you can share your experiences in this field. And now we're moving to our next topic, uh, which is detection and prevention of uh, OS command execution vulnerabilities in their devices. Uh, but before we proceed, let's sum up what we learned before the break. And we talked about uh, HTTP communications on request responses. We talked about specific HTTP headers, authorization header, user agent header. We also talked about OS command execution vulnerability. And this is the most dreary vulnerability in network devices. And if an attacker <laughs> exploits such a vulnerability, he or she can literally own this device. And after this exploitation, many nasty things can happen. And maybe someone could um, remind us what were those nasty things, nasty stuff with this OS command execution. Sending spam. Sending spam. Sending viruses. Great, sending viruses, okay. Intercepting passwords. Intercepting passwords. Intercepting banking communications. Yeah, intercepting banking communications, yes. All those nasty things are not good, so it's vital to know how to detect and how to prevent such vulnerabilities. And these are our two next learning objectives. So, detection and prevention. <clears throat> okay, I'll show you both of the phases uh, on my uh, lab device. So we're using a real lab device, it is already connected to, to our lab, the lamps are hopefully blinking, <laughs> so it's working. Alright, uh, by the way, how many of you own such a device? Yeah, everyone, good. Yes, uh, such devices are used to connect PCs to the internet. So it's very vital component of any network and vulnerability here is not, not good. Okay. Uh, and uh, here is our lab architecture. We have three main components. So, a laptop with Firefox or any other uh, internet browser, a tested device, the second component, and the third component is local HTTP proxy. It's a piece of software that can be used to uh, intercept HTTP requests, modify it, and then reply it. Okay, we played a bit. Uh, with this uh, HTTP proxy tool before the break, so you're already familiar with it. Okay. Uh, this lab is also very important because uh, it is used. It can be used to uh, detect other vulnerabilities than this OS command execution vulnerability. So, for reference, you have this lab architecture in handouts, so you can write on it, reference to it. It can be useful, it will be useful in the part, farther part of, of our training. <coughs> okay, so let's have some action now. I'm switching to my Firefox browser now. I'm typing here <coughs> an IP address of this tested device. Standard credentials here. And? Pardon? Yes, or five dots. In other words. <laughs> Alrighty. <coughs> here we have the main page of web administration on this device. Now I'm navigating to this administration diagnostics tab. So, administration diagnostics tab here and here I can uh, issue a pin command so this pin command is issued directly from this router from this device to the IP uh, address on the internet and for our purposes uh, I can type uh, in here an IP address and I will use here for 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 and when I click the start test button uh, the pin will launch and uh, uh, the host, this uh, 4444, will be picked. Okay, let's try it. Okay, nothing suspicious here for now. 
But let's see what's going on on this local HTTP proxy tool. Okay, here we can see all the communication between my Firefox browser and uh, the tested device, another host. Uh, also here we can see, I can zoom in a bit, this post request, okay, and this is the request which was issued when I clicked the status bar, okay. Down below here I can see even this 4444 address, good. Uh, now I'm moving this uh, request to repeater module, so right click anywhere down here and uh, I'm selecting the send to repeater module option, send to repeater. And the repeater module allows me to uh, modify this request at my will and send it once again to, to the network device. Okay. Let's try it uh, without any modifications. Okay, nothing suspicious here. But now we have, I think, the most important thing in this detection phase, so injection phase. I put here, after the IP address, semicolon and ls. ls is a command in Linux uh, which uh, shows uh, contents of current data. Let's try it. Okay, we have something interesting new here. So, shell or operating system was to execute uh, this ls command, but it is not found. We have not found information here. Uh, so, maybe a question for you. How should I <coughs> modify this injection to make it work? Maybe direct path for the ls command. Mm -hmm. Direct path, yes, or direct uh, path to this ls command. It sounds good, but what should I put here? Slash bin slash ls. Let's try this slash bin. Something like this? Yes. Okay, so let's try it. Will it work out or want? Yes, and now we have it. <laughs> it worked. Is it patched uh, already? This vulnerability? Yeah. Yes, it is already patched. I sent information about this specific vulnerability to the producer. Uh, they replied that uh, the vulnerability really exists and then issued the patch after two weeks. And then they asked me about uh, checking if this patch uh, is working, but I had to buy another device. <laughs> Because <laughs> I need Vernal device to show you uh, this uh, during our training. Okay. Um, <laughs> nice. And uh, I have another question for you. Connected with this little book, Security Monitoring. And the next, and the first person who answers my next question correctly will get this book. So, the next question is what other character uh, can be used here to make this injection? So, not semicolon, other character. An idea? Not it. Mm, maybe ampersand. Mm, uh, ampersand? Yes. So, something like this? Yes. Okay. I don't know. If it works, let's try it. Go. But it, it doesn't work here. This ampersand is quite good, but something is lacking here. Mm. Could you mm, think about how to <coughs> change it a bit to make it work? Maybe we should use hex code, so it should be yes. percent twenty-six. Yes, this ampersand, we talked about it before the break, is a special character in HTTP communication, so it should be in code. So, uh, what was the injection? Percent 26. Yes. Percent 26. The book is warming up, we'll see if you get it. <laughs> so... Yes, it worked. 
So congratulations. Here you go. Uh, good. So this is the detection phase. Person 26 is, and another character was... Semicolon. 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 Yes, you talked about pipe also. Mm -hmm. Yes, the pipe is the third character here. So let's try it. We have the third possibility. So it's a very good point. Okay, so let's try this pipe. Okay. And... Cool, yes. Mm -hmm. also works. Okay, here's the detection phase. And uh, to sum it up, the steps uh, are as follows. So we are logging into the device, then uh, we are locating this ping functionality, <coughs> then we are intercepting this uh, HTTP request, uh, using repeater module to modify it, send it and observe the result. Okay. And uh, now we can move to the prevention phase. So the detection phase is already done, uh, prevention phase. Uh, we have two groups of people here, so administrators, okay, two of you, and uh, programmers, good. And uh, in the next group exercise, we'll try to work out prevention methods. So your task will be to do some research. You can use the internet, my materials, your experience, you can talk, of course, about it. And you have to work out prevention methods when it comes to your experience. So programmers, uh, programmers will have different experience and administrators will have also different uh, experiences. So we have 15 uh, minutes uh, uh, for it now. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this, this other idea mm -hmm. also like that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I see that uh, hopefully are, you're almost done. <coughs> Do you need more time for, for this exercise or you have more something out? Or? No. Okay, so we can talk about it. Good. Um, we are talking about prevention methods, OS Common Execution Prevention Methods. And let's start from a network administrator's perspective. Do you have any options how to prevent? Well, the easiest way is to restrict access to this website, to this router. Yes, that's, that's a very good point. If uh, an attacker has no access to administration, no one, no, nothing works. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, very you good. Can simply upgrade firmware. Yes, very simple, very cheap method, just upgrading, upgrading firmware. Of course, upgraded firmwares are not always available. So it can be no option in some specific cases. Okay, any other idea? Okay, there is one more common method of prevention. It's called IPS or Intrusion Prevention System. Uh, it's quite tough to implement, but it's the third option. We'll talk about it uh, for some time in our training. So we have here uh, admin perspective. Okay. Admin perspective. By the way, I will make a capture of the screen. I will send it to you in JPEGs. So we'll have a reference of it. Admin perspective. And we have what were the restrict access? Restrict access. Okay. What else? Upgrade firmwares. Okay. Firmwares. Okay. And the third option was IPS. Cool. This is uh, mm, this prevention stuff from uh, administrator's perspective. Now let's move to programmer's perspective. Okay. A 
Okay? Mm, maybe some IP address validation. Another professional method, IP address validation. Okay, that's a good point, but um, could you please be more specific about this validation? What should be done exactly? You have an idea or I don't know. Other programmers, I maybe? Don't know. I don't know. Okay, no idea. Okay, so maybe a little hint for you. Uh, let's look like let's look what uh, what is under the hood of this device. So after you're clicking this uh, start this button, the following magic happens. So the router issues a ping uh, command first. So. Okay. Uh, this dollar sign means here that there is a variable here uh, passed from from the user or from attacker, and in normal situation this IP was okay, and this is inserted here. And the final command is, is as follows. So ping. Okay, this is a normal situation. No detection or no attack for now. And the injection phase uh, was, uh, or detection phase was with these characters here. Could you remember what were these characters? Semicolon. Semicolon? So okay. Ampersand. Ampersand, but what with this ampersand? Uh, person. 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 Bin slash ls. Okay, and actually here two commands are executed. So ping and then this ls. So this ls is of course not good. So now could you work out this prevention methods? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yes, uh, we must check IP. Uh, only digit uh, and uh, dots are all. Uh, yes, so this validation should work like this. It should only accept digits and dots. No yes. semicolon on this other stuff. Yes, very good. Okay, so we have validation here. Uh, anything else when it comes to prevention and programmer's perspective? Uh, don't run everything as root. Don't run everything as root. So, uh, yes, this is very good and uh, this is also common method from uh, of protection for also other vulnerabilities, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So not root. It's a common short for, for this prevention method. Not root. Okay, you did very well. So we can actually, I think, sum up uh, our module. We have learned how to detect the vulnerability. Uh, how to prevent it? We have talked about it just uh, just a while ago. Uh, once again, what were those injection signs? Semicolon. Semicolon. Mm, ampersand. Ampersand. Ampersand twenty six. Ampersand twenty six. And part. And part. Yes, very well. Okay. In the final part of the training, you will be able to uh, test all this knowledge on another device in our lab. That's TP Link, right? Yes, it's TP Link. Because uh, some weeks ago I read about a real, really big vulnerability on these devices and we <laughs> yes. them. Yes, we'll be working yeah. exactly on this vulnerability. It's already passed, mm -hmm. but, uh, but it's very fresh. So mm -hmm. you may call your colleagues and ask them if, if they are already passed. Okay. Yes, you have, yes, I have new filmers. Okay? Great. Uh, okay, thank you for now, and uh, after a little break we are moving to this hands-on experience on this another device. Okay, thanks.